Uh, you are a visual and performance artist, and most of your work is about redefining the role of art as a catalyst for change, as, especially in asylum and migration cases. And your most recent work, Refugee on Trial, examined the Dutch asylum system by reenacting a real court case against an Afghan Afghani asylum system. Um, you're gonna, now going to do something different. Uh, please walk us through it. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. You're going to answer the questions, and you're going to do that with your phone. Question number one. I, as a Dutch person, want to go to Belgium to stay forever. What am I? Am I a migrant? Am I an immigrant from Netherlands? Am I immigrating to Belgium? Am I an expat? With the timer uh, that it does that. Um, uh, God, could we go back to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the IND. They could be the IND, <laughs> you know, the, the Dutch immigration office. Next slide, IND. Okay, so 19% um, of you answered the correct answer, which is... Excuse me? What? <laughs> no, I'm interested. What did it? That was Siri. What did Siri say? It's usually interesting. <laughs> oh, can, Siri cannot answer that question right now. Okay. People are okay. winning right now. Okay. Am I a Dutch person? So for those who said no, watch out. <laughs> um, next question. Do you want to see my passport? Do you want to see my passport? Yes or no? Uh, I'm not this is a very simple question, so maybe, <laughs> maybe we can go already to the next one. IND, please. Uh, passport? Mm -hmm. No. They don't want to see my passport. <laughs> Why you don't want to see my passport? <laughs> who, who doesn't want to see my passport? Why not? I mean, it's a beautiful passport. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, finally, I got a passport and nobody wants to see it. <laughs> I don't have a job. Yeah, just very simple. I don't have a job. Emigrant, expat, guest worker, fortune seeker. Did you thought, like the most percent I thought, I'm expat. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, th so answer then. Come on, answer. It's locked, yeah, it's your problem. I told you. I told you not to do this. IND, do you see what you do with people? Go back to your own country. <laughs> because war, is only in Friesland. Perhaps I could go to Rotterdam, and there I will be safe. There's no war in Rotterdam. Number nine. So, my life is in danger because of climate change in Netherlands. Please let me go to Belgium. This is what I say in the embassy, yeah? I'm still in the embassy, trying things out. Whew. Pacific nation of Kiribati. Any idea where it is? Kiribati is, uh, you know, on top of New Zealand, there. This family applied for the refugee stat status in New Zealand in 2013. They claimed that their lives were at risk due to the shrinking size of the island and lack of clean water. New Zealand reject their case, but the United Nations Committee responded with non refoulement decree. That means that New Zealand cannot send them back. All right? As a true separationist, I um, organize demonstration in Belgium. I, um, I distribute propaganda, and I say, Fei Fei Dei Vechermei. <laughs> um, and that's why I cannot go back to Netherlands, because I acted against the Netherlands. 
Um, so now I cannot return to this country. What am I now? Can we see the next slide? Am I uh, stateless? Am I illegal immigrant? Am I political refugee? Am I a refugee uh, surplus? Am I de facto refugee? Am I de jure refugee? Can you vote? The pool is open? Yeah? It's, uh, if you guys answer this one correctly, I'll be really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, so can we see the correct answer, please? Oh, everybody thinks I'm an illegal immigrant. Yeah, of course. Yes, Lawrence is the true winner. Who is that? Exactly, who is that? Are you? Really? Wow, amazing. Amazing. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you. Uh, Ashan, can you uh, take the chair and join us for the last uh, two to ten minutes? So, like being biased is also sometimes about categorizing people. I know about it because I go to Morocco. It's to get a visa for the West is the most humiliating thing in the world. It's, it takes years, it takes a lot of money, and it's humiliating. Getting a visa for the West. Now we know why they don't go back. If you put so much money Mm -hmm. Emotional time, emotional time. I swear mm -hmm. I will get it. Mm -hmm. You bribe people and you get your visa. Well, you will mm -hmm. never go back yeah. because it's too expensive. Yeah, it's a valid point. The, the taxonomy of migration was really, I'm so glad you drew attention to that. I remember when I, um, you know, the, all these Americans that came to Europe, Hemingway and Gertrude Stein and all these people, they got to call themselves expat writers. They were the lost generation. Um, Western executives, when they go abroad and live you know, in India or Morocco, they get to be called expats. Yeah. But if Moroccans and Indians move, then we're immigrants or refugees. So the label that you have at the border, whether you call yourself a refugee, a migrant, an expat, or a tourist, like <laughs> this gentleman's sister can uh, can't meet her children, but if she had a Western passport, then she could fly back and forth all she wanted. So in the 21st century, your humanity is defined by your passport, by your nationality, and also, that is an atrocity. Also, I think maybe a little bit by your outfit, because most of you guys thought I was an expat, and I would have a job. So again, coming back to the, uh, mm -hmm. to the bias that we have inside ourselves, and you probably think I'm playing, Presenting in the Bali, so I have a good mm. job, uh, you know. Uh, well, we thought this was your job. A very interesting job. Well, yeah. The question is if it's pay enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you can call it a job or not. Yeah. Thank you.